A student only 14 years old stabbed inside of her school in Dorchester. And the school system says the girl who attacked her is a 15-year-old student. WBZ's Paul Burton is live in Dorchester. And Paul, frightening situation for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, it, it certainly was. Unfortunately, I'm hearing that the 14-year-old girl will be okay. But in speaking with some of the students after school today, they say they are very concerned about their safety here. It's, it's just from his house, and we don't feel safe no more in this school. Scary moments at Jeremiah Burke High School. As police say, a 14-year-old girl was stabbed with a knife by a 15-year-old female student inside the school just before 11 this morning. 18-year-old Marvel Jimenez heard the commotion and ran to her class. We seen the blood in the floor and like people running around. We just heard that somebody got hurt, but we don't know who. Authorities say two students got into an altercation which led to the stabbing. The school was placed into safe mode for about 35 minutes. The 14-year-old had non-life-threatening injuries and was taken to the hospital for treatment. The 15-year-old was taken into custody. Crimes like that should stop. This is not the first time police have been called to this school. Back in October 2022, a student was shot by another student outside on school grounds, and the school was put on lockdown. And in another incident, an 18-year-old student was stabbed in the back and shoulder. This afternoon, a letter from the school was sent out to families regarding today's incident, saying in part, we know incidents like this can cause many to feel anxious, but I want to reassure all members of the Burke High School community that this was an isolated incident between two students and that we will take every step necessary to ensure that our students feel safe and welcomed. Do you feel safe here? No, no. It's, it is not safe, like just fighting and fighting. Like, it has to stop. And pol police, police are still investigating. School officials say social workers will be on site the rest of this week to provide any necessary assistance students may need. The incident remains under investigation. Live in Dorchester, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. All right, Paul, thank you.